Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Brick Travi, and today we're taking a look at set number 75375 at 921 pieces, the Millennium Falcon Micro. Uh, so this is part of the Starship collection. So it's the very smaller version of this set. And of course, this is another one of the 25 years of Lego Star Wars. So we do get that 18 plus black box art kind of look. We turn it to the back side. It just gives us a good look at the rear of the uh, Millennium Falcon itself, as well as a uh, in-universe look at the ship. Which I, maybe it's just me, but the uh, the in-universe pictures or live-action pictures of these new sets look awful. <laughs> like. It's the back of the ship with a white line. I mean, I know it's the engines. I know it's the rear of the ship while it's in light speed. But there's way better pics of the, of the ship than this as well as, uh, uh, yeah, it's just uh, these, the last couple of these have been a little bit questionable. Then, of course, right here we got our dimensions for the Millennium Falcon. Turn it to the side. We get a nice side, uh, side box art of the top of the Millennium Falcon as well as that Starship collection name right there. You'll notice that my box is a little bit scrunched. You can thank that to Lego.com um, and their shipping methods. It seems like every single time I order from Lego.com, the box comes crushed. It's kind of unfortunate. That's why I like to go to the Lego store uh, when they do releases. And the other side is just uh, some more information in different languages. So let's go ahead and get this, uh, this bad boy built and uh, see what we think. I'll see you here in a minute. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we have our Starship Collection Millennium Falcon. Turned out pretty darn good. Um, I think it is quite an excellent model. There are some issues with it, of course. We do get 100% printed tiles in this set. There are no stickers, which is a huge, huge plus for me. Um, it is a very sturdy model. I mean, you can... You can really shake this thing and it's not going to fall apart on you. We do get that really cool little two-piece for the engine. I do like that. But yeah. So there we have a little walkthrough, a little spinny around with our model there. And something I wanted to point out actually uh, with our model here is the fun little Easter eggs that come included in this set. So I did bookmark them inside of the manual so you guys can see it. So the very first one we see here is R2-D2, C-3PO, and Chewbacca playing hollow chess. So almost immediately this gets covered up with um, tiles and bricks. So, But you do add it in there so the characters are within the model itself. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then you can, guys can pause and read this if you'd like to. And then the next one is Han Solo and Princess Leia and C-3PO. And I believe this is meant to be the scene where uh, Han is trying to kiss, or did kiss, Princess Leia, and C-3PO interrupts so rudely. And then last, but certainly not least, we get Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker. And they are training with the probe droid on the training deck. So, of course, there you go. If you would like to pause, you can read that. But those are some fun Easter eggs that were hidden within the build. So, we'll go ahead and take it off the stand so you guys can see the stand itself. So, it is very clean black stand. We do get that 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick. And, of course, you get the extra grill piece. So, if you do not want to display it with the 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick you can put that grill piece to give it a little bit of a cleaner look and then just store the brick somewhere else but me of course i will for the time being display that 25 years brick because it's the 25th anniversary of lego star wars why not going to the model itself it's pretty a detailed model i mean even the underside has like grilling and things of that nature to kind of give it that stylized look um as well as these like all of these are just panels like you build the center structure, which was this kind of cross, like really cross shape right here, and you just clip onto it these extra pieces, and then the actual like uh, front of the ship, and then the actual uh, cockpit is 
Technic. So it's it's connected with Technic pins. Some qualms about this particular set, some, some downsides. Uh, if you look at it from above, you can see a lot of these Technic pieces and clips and stuff. So, I mean, when you have it at the display angle that they kind of are going for, like right that, you know, you're not going to notice it too much. But like, when you're really looking at it, I mean, it, you can definitely see those gaps. Um, as far as a micro scale or a, a scaled down version of Millennium Falcon, it looks very good. I mean, it feels good in your hand. I mean, if you, this is really a, not a play model, but I mean, if kids wanted to play with it, I mean, you know, there's there's nothing stopping them from doing that. There's just no landing gear, so they it would you know a little floppy. They do have the turret on top, as you can clearly see with that mirror, that actual uh, window piece, so they can see out to shoot. But the bottom, of course, does not have that because that is where the actual piece connects to the stand, which is fine. It's fine. Like I said, this is a display set, not a, um, not a play piece. So I think I actually built that wrong. I just noticed it sitting here staring at it, being looking all kinds of funky. Huh, there, that looks better. So you saw that in real time that I messed up the build. <laughs> so, like I said, this is a very good display model. I mean, for what it is, it's it's very good. Um, is it the best so far? No, I do believe the Taintive is the better of the two. Um, I look forward to getting the other one later in the year. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head right now. But as of now, this these two, are they're pretty decent. So we'll go ahead and put it back on the stand. And you can see that that's um, a brick on top of that, so it's not like a tied off piece. So when you push this in, it actually locks in place so it doesn't go anywhere, which is very sturdy. <clears throat> so that is my review of the, UC, the ew, I almost said UCS, woo, of the Starship Collection Millennium Falcon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.